the A League, and it's Head who joins us now. Please welcome Mr. Damien DeBoer. Hey, Damien. Hello, mate. Thank Love you. to see you. Love to be here. Um, <laughs> wow. Oh, he normally gets a hug, but never mind. So, um, <laughs> lovely to have you with us. Great to be here. A League final. Always, you once referred to him one half of bros. I don't. You did. <laughs> Why would you bring? Did, did you see that, Joe? I did. It was, it was a good joke. But you were the more handsome one of it's bros. Very so, okay, I appreciate that. Um, you and Bessart Barisha. Yeah, yeah, my good friend yeah, Bessart. Yeah, yeah. Do we have to drag up old jokes? He just said that old Toronto's teams look the same. <laughs> <laughs> that was five minutes ago. I didn't say that. Hey, um, uh, A League finals off to a good start. You'd have to say a good cra- good Friday is an interesting time to play a final, but we're happy with the crowd and the result. Yeah, great crowd. Melbourne Victory obviously getting through uh, in yep. the uh, injury time against Sydney FC and then yep. Central Coast beating Adelaide mm. last night. But uh, two massive games this week and Asian Champions League matches in between. So it's all happening. Yes, That's it is. Hard. The timing of that is pretty interesting. As in, uh, has there been any kind of, uh, you know, can we can we move some games to, to accommodate our lead-up to the finals? Or how, how does that work? Yeah, we actually moved two of the finals. So uh, playing Central Coast on Saturday, it was supposed to be on Sunday. So we moved that back a day to give them an extra mm. day. And, in fact, the uh, Western Sydney Central Coast final was supposed to be on Friday. We moved that to Saturday okay. to give both teams an extra day already. And, and so. it's a good problem to have. It's I mean, great we are, we're the Asian Champions League, I think, is the is part of, really big part of our yeah. future. Yeah. So it's wonderful to see these, these results so far. And and certainly at Gosford because you need the extra day to, to get the sauce bottles up. Because That's you, so true. You, you, you can't have them. You can't, you can't have them. I never see them during the Champions League games, no. but you do see them in the in the A-League games. That was a serious question. It was a good question. <laughs> the great news is to have uh, three uh, Australian teams playing to go through the next round Fantastic. of the Asian Champions mm. League is massive, and to see the fans responding that way is great. Mm. And I think all the teams in the Asian Champions League would say they've benefited from playing in the Champions League. And what obviously kind of figures does it get? Finals. Like, Asia-wide, what kind of figures, like viewing figures do yeah, you get? Yeah, huge. So if we get about 100,000 people watching A-League matches, there's about 1.3 million people watching every single Asian Champions wow. League match. Wow, that's is about fantastic. what we get for this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> We're basically yeah, the, the block. The, uh, <laughs> the, one, the 1.3 is the uh, figure there that you have to, for our show. Yeah, hey, exactly. uh, Damien, enough of this. Uh, oh, no. Dorothy no, Dixon. It's, hatchet. it's <laughs> the hatchet man. <laughs> exactly. On Friday night, Melbourne played Sydney. 20,000 people. That is a good crowd. Yes. Why was it edit, played at Eddie Head Stadium? for ground availability in simple terms. I think one of the challenges for all the sporting codes, Australia, in fact, per capita, is the most competitive sporting landscape in the world. You've got uh, Super Rugby, NRL and AFL all playing at the same time. And super Rugby can get Damien. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> only, I've, I've tried, tried to, to watch that. Damien, it's terrible. On, Damien, on Friday, <laughs> yes. I'm not letting you off that easy, by yeah. On Friday, there, w- there wasn't a game at Amy Park, was there? Yes, Rugby League. All right, then, fine. <laughs> 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 I was. I had. Sorry, uh, yes. I had three or four follow-up questions. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone there nowhere. Was no game played. As there was. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, hey, Damien. So I'm going to ask you something about. Hey, couple of blokes in Sky Blue here tonight. <laughs> Uh, Melbourne Heart, we're very happy that Manchester City's bought Melbourne Heart. Surely yes. we are. Surely we're happy for that great, overseas investment. Great, yes, yeah. Now, everyone knows they want to change the jersey. Mm-hmm. And the strong rumour is they want to bring it into line with New York City and Manchester City and go for Sky Blue. Sydney already has Sky Blue. Yeah. What are we going to do? Well, I think in the A-League already there's examples of uh, two teams or three teams playing in red. Uh, yes. And so that's that's already happening. And mm. uh, leagues around the world, team wear multiple colours. So, look, we have received yes. an application from Melbourne okay. Heart to look at uh, what their strips will be next year. And we, we're examining one, that. One thing I would say is I... I I think just let them do it. Let them have some sky blue. Like Manchester United have changed the colour of their jersey a couple of times. The Socceroos have done it. Brazil did it, for goodness mm-hmm. sake. Mm-hmm. I, I can't imagine why, with this great investment, it's, it's the club is relatively new. We've got all this money. Let, let them put whatever or, colour they want or, on the shirt. Or, at the very least, just go shirts and skins. You know? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> he's a it's practical always. individual. That's why It's always here. an option. Speaking of dress codes, can I just, I just wanted to show something to Damien. I wanted to give credit where credit's due. Mm-hmm. Many people don't think you're doing a great job, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say this, Damien. Thanks. I think you, I think you are, by the way. <laughs> but your dress code policy, I think, is to be applauded. The way that the managers, the, the head uh, coaches, oh, have to dress with a suit Suits. and a tie and they look yeah, magnificent. Beautiful. And it's, it's a, a it's a it's a credit. Yeah, credit to you. When it comes to the rest of the staff on the benches, mm-hmm. I just wanted you to look at this. For instance, are you comfortable with the assistant coaches showing this much leg? Look at that. Oh. <laughs> are you, are, is that something That's... that you're going to clamp down we'll on? We'll have to look at that. Yeah, yeah. Have to, you know? <laughs> you're not allowed to have two balls on the field at one time. <laughs> We almost, had the pix- we almost had to pixelate that, you know? That's some good basic instinct. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> I, 
this is what I notice about that stuff. Uh, mm. I was, the the, the, the pla white plastic chairs. Now, I keep on hearing that we're going to go for a dugout uh, after the Asian Cup. Mm. The A League's going to go dugout. Is that the uh, what's going to yeah, happen? Yeah, so the Asian Cup uh, will have um, will have full benches brought yeah. in place. So they'll have the full racing chairs and that type of thing. So, so towards the end of next season, yeah. we'll be able to implement that. Uh, one of the challenges is that we are looking at having, in fact, a retractable bench where the roof comes over when it's raining and it convertible. comes back. Convertible? Yeah, convertible. Like yeah, a Mazda yeah. MX-5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing. Are you going to have a garage sale for the white chairs? Because <laughs> oh. um, I reckon people will want... I love the white chairs. We could use what? some for our audience. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favourite moments in the job, when we first announced that benches were coming, someone opened a Twitter account called Bunnings Chair. <laughs> and, he, and he said, you're doing me out of a job. And it was, yeah. uh, it was quite that's, insane. That's pretty good. Damien, well, we've we've got to go to a break. All right, but I just wanted to thank you, in all seriousness, thank you so much for, uh, you know, you your generous uh, time and also and yeah, thank you for coming Sunday, yeah. on Easter yeah, Sunday and it. as you know if you're a guest on this show you never leave empty handed no one leaves empty handed <laughs> and we just, I, just wanted, right. I just wanted we just picked you up this it's it's just a little gift it's a 1959 <laughs> bottle of grain <laughs> Damien, don't, don't thank us now. If you want to go home and write us a little note, <laughs> that's, that's yours to keep. Thank you very oh, much. Very good. Thank Please you. thank Damien Devoe, everybody.